Hello, uh, my name is Sanjay Call. I'm a cardiologist at the Cedar sinai Heart Institute in Los Angeles. Today we'll be discussing uh, with my uh, two esteemed colleagues uh, the important trial uh, called Syntax, which was uh, presented uh, at the European Society of Cardiology meeting in, uh, in last month. And uh, we'll be talking about uh, the results of the Syntax trial today. Uh, I'm Raj Makar, um, uh, Interventional Cardiology at Cedar sinai Medical Center. And I'm Greg Fontana. I'm a cardiac surgeon at the Cedar sinai Heart Institute, Los Angeles, California. So uh, what I'd like to say is the end point of the study was MACE, M-A-C-C-E, which is Major Adverse Cardiac and Cerebrovascular Events. Um, and you're right when you talk about surgery as being a morbid procedure. I think it's actually quite morbid. Um, uh, but it doesn't, uh, the primary endpoint of the study doesn't necessarily uh, capture all the comorbid, all the um, possible complications of bypass surgery. For example, it, it doesn't capture the pleural effusions, it doesn't capture the uh, <coughs> long hospitalizations uh, that can occur, the uh, number of other complications that actually. Um, are seen with uh, with surgery, so I think um, uh, I'm not particularly surprised because we all know that uh, after uh, multivessel stenting, uh, restenosis is the commonest <coughs> um, uh, driver uh, of uh, major adverse cardiac events. Well, I, I have to agree with uh, with Dr. Uh, McCarr that uh, the design of the trial did not capture all of the adverse outcomes. Um, but I think one thing's really important that was the finding was the surgery and um, interventional approach to uh, these complex patients improved over previous trials. So both uh, procedures are getting better. Um, they're having uh, lower um, uh, morbid and mortality events um, with increasingly complicated patients. And um, I, w I was uh, not surprised based on the design of the outcome as well. Um, I think reintervention remains really the, uh, the Achilles heel of um, multivessel stenting and left main stenting at this point. I actually think this is a positive uh, study for interventional um, uh, arm. Uh, because uh, I, I don't recall of a study where we've done a randomized clinical trial and we've put in 100 millimeters of stent and we've uh, done such aggressive stenting, including the left main subset. Uh, so despite that, I think despite aggressive, such aggressive stenting, uh, if you look at the outcomes, uh, what you have is, is basically the following. You have, uh, you know, almost, um, uh, uh, three to, almost three times the risk of uh, stroke, uh, or two to three times the risk of stroke in cabbage patients and you have an increase in target vessel revascularization which is uh, about six percent absolute difference. Uh, so I think um, this is something that we've actually known in the past from complex stenting that when you put in multiple stents, when you put in long stents, when you deal with multiple lesions and multiple arteries, you're going to have patients come back for reinterventions, which on most occasions can be dealt with with a reintervention using PCI. I see it uh, slightly differently. You know, I'm kind of reminded of the Biden Palin uh, debate. Uh, Palin clearly lost on points and yet claimed victory because she performed better than expectations. It, it is true that the PCI performed better than expectations, but randomized clinical trials are done to compare treatments against.